I suffer from PTSD and anxiety. And this, sadly, this year has killed me. I have this last month been one of those teachers that has called out probably twice a week. Emotional pleas for help from scared teachers at a high school south of Boston have made it to the governor's office because of scenes like this video of a brawl obtained by NBC 10 Boston. Now teacher shortages, budget deficits and unruly violent students at Brockton High School have some school committee members calling for help from the National Guard. But if you support safety in our schools, you will support the National Guard to come in here and keep our students safe. If the video of the minutes long brawl didn't paint a clear picture of the community's concerns, this letter addressed to the mayor and forwarded to Massachusetts Governor Maura Healey, written by some of the school's committee members, details the pressing danger teachers and students face every day when the bell rings saying that there has been an alarming increase in violence between students, students wandering the halls, and leaving school without permission, even students doing drugs in the hallways. But what may be most concerning, according to the letter, is the lack of security at school entrances. Committee members say there has been an increase in trespassing, with people gaining access to the school without authorization. And while a slim majority, four of seven school committee members are calling on the National Guard for help, the rest, including the mayor, do not believe sending the troops is the answer. A hesitation that the four committee members responded to at a press conference this week. I know there's a lot of negative um, comments regarding the you know, National Guard coming out here, but we're not asking them to deploy a whole army to our school. We're asking for support especially with the teacher shortage throughout Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Support not in the way of firepower and force, but as hall monitors and teachers. Some of the committee members point to the National Guard's help in distributing COVID vaccinations during the pandemic as an example of the Guard being used to help communities across the country. Still, not all city officials agree this is the right move. One city council member telling NBC 10 Boston, that isn't the role of the National Guard, and uniformed soldiers in a school present a terrible image. School absenteeism and violations of the current code of conduct need to be uniformly and consistently addressed with mandatory parental conferences. While it is still uncertain whether Governor Healy will deploy the National Guard to Brockton High School, she did acknowledge the concerns brought to her desk and added her administration is committed to creating a safe learning environment environment for all students in the state. While the local ABC affiliate reports that many families also do not agree with sending in the National Guard, other reports indicate families just want the school committee to figure out a way to create a safe learning environment for their children.